Hey everybody, I'm Tim from Alien Gear Holsters and this is Maxwell. And we are going to give you a beginner's guide to carrying for heavy people. All right, so I'm here with Maxwell. Maxwell is the director of the customer service department at Alien Gear Holsters. How long have you been working with Alien Gear, Max? I started as a regular CSR in uh, 2014, March 2014, coming up on my five-year anniversary. And that is a customer service representative, right? That's where I started. I moved on up through the ranks to mentor, manager, value stream leader, and then director. So you are every day doing what exactly? taking amazing care of our wonderful customers. And why do you guys do that? Uh, because what we do is important on a hundred different levels. You know, we want to make sure people are carrying comfortably and safely and that they get what they need so that they wear their holster every day and use it so that it works for them when they need it. How often do you guys get calls from heavier people looking to find maybe the best choice of holster or how to make their holster more comfortable? You know, not every customer really discloses their size, but the ones that we hear about most that do disclose their size are larger people because it ha it's either pinching or not working. They, you know, they want tips on how to adjust it, where to wear it, how to wear it, how not to wear it, um, and we like to help them through that. Nice. Okay, so today we are going to go through a whole bunch of the Alien Gear holsters and give you advice on what's best for carrying if you're heavier, where to carry it, and maybe some pro tips on how to make it more comfortable, and uh, maybe some things that you might not have considered. If you're looking to buy a holster, this is a great video for you to watch. Watch through the end. We're going to cover all sorts of our holsters, and we're going to start with our most popular holster, the Inside the Waistband Gun Holster. Right now, our, our best bet to go with is the 4.0 shape shift holster nice. and it looks like this right here. It also and looks like this right here. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and turn around yeah. so the camera can see here. Yeah. Maxwell's got one on right here. What position are you wearing this at today? I'm wearing about 330, 335. <laughs> and I'm wearing mine at 430 right now and I wear mine right here because it sits against the flat of my back and it doesn't hang on my hip. Mm -hmm. So I find that the most comfortable. I see you've got yours in a little different spot. Let's have you turn a little better. Yeah. So I actually train in a couple different positions. Uh, I like 330, uh, 330 a lot. It gives me just a good grip. Uh, I can draw my weapon when I need to. Uh, this is kind of more of a broad area of my body. It's not reaching so far back here. However, depending on what pants I'm wearing, depending on how I'm how my pants are fitting that day, I may also carry a little bit further back um, depending on the fit of clothes. But I train with both so that I'm proficient with both. Do you ever carry further around the front? Maybe around 3 o'clock or 2.30 right here? Not really. Maybe if I'm paddle holster and I'm at the range, perhaps, but not, not very much at all. It's just not as comfortable. The more I go forward, the less real estate I have to carry a holster. Is that because of your skin hanging over? It's because of my body shape, yeah, and, and just uh, don't don't have a lot of room to draw up. Mm, and so, okay. Yeah. So I want to really get down into the, the nitty gritty here. Yeah. When you're drawing or when you're carrying a gun like this, does it poke into you, into your side or your skin when you're carrying as a bigger person right here or anywhere along the side? You know, we hear it a lot in customer service, and one of the biggest reasons that we see holsters returned is because, oh, it's just not comfortable for me. And I feel like some people expect to get a holster and it not feel like there's anything on their person. That's not the case. No matter what you do, I feel, you're going to feel the holster and the pistol on your body. It doesn't, if you're wearing it correctly and you have adjusted correctly, you have your cant where you want it, you have your shell how you need it, and you're wearing the right pistol for you, it's not going to be intrusive or obstructive to you, to you and how you move and what you do from day to day. There are times when I do feel it, absolutely, but with my Alien Gear holster, I mean, I drive in it, I disc golf in it, I hike in it, I fish in it, I've napped in it. I do whatever I need to do, and most of the time I forget I have it on. Nice. Okay, so I would say probably the biggest one there is driving. 
Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about that. Yeah. When you're driving, do you feel a difference when you're wearing an IWB like this uh, on your backside or around your the side of your body, like around three o'clock? So, um, you know, that's a really excellent point. So when I'm driving a long way, I may find myself carrying more towards the back because it is a more of a flat area for that when I'm in a sitting position. Um, if short drive, I'll keep it more towards the front here. But if I'm going a long way and I have it at 3 or 3.30, it can, it, it can be noticeable. It can also obstruct my seat belt, stuff like that a little bit because I'm a little broader person. So, yeah. Okay, so there are other inside the waistband holsters to consider. Mm -hmm. let's, let's jump into a mag holster. Yeah. So if you want to carry extra mags on you, you get I'm into a gunfight and you get to carry yeah, one right here. You, you need more uh, ammo than just the 6 to 13 or whatever you've got. Yeah. You're wearing uh, how many sizes up in your pants so that you can carry a gun and a mag holster inside the waistband? None. Me personally, I'm not. However, if your pants are tight when you go into a holster purchase, you're probably going to need to go up in size. If your pants are loose or relaxed fit when you go to buy a holster, you may not. If your pants are loose, you buy a belt, you're going to be fine. We recommend wearing a belt regardless because of just making sure it's a stable platform for your pistol and all your accessories. So really, at the end of the day, it, it's just about how your pants fit right now before you pull, purchase that holster. Okay, that sounds like it makes a lot of sense. Now, you, you essentially have to fit this much if, extra into your waistband and still have it be comfortable. Yes. So if you have, if you can fit maybe two fingers in there, that's what they say is a good fit for your, mm -hmm. your pants. Mm -hmm. But if you could fit maybe like three or four, and perhaps you wear a belt on top of that to keep it cinched down, then you probably don't need to go an extra size up, right? That's, that's very true. For me personally, I don't wear a lot of IWB mag carrier because, again, that does, with this much height, tend to be a little more intrusive. I carry our cloak mag carrier at a horizontal position and I carry it outside the waistband and backwards so that I can draw out and my magazine goes right into the well of my pistol. Mm. And so, and that's really comfortable like that? for me. So nope, completely horizontal. I don't know if the camera can uh, catch oh, where I'm okay, at so here. So you're, you're carrying yours outside the waistband. Yep, outside and, the waistband. And our mag holsters are able to switch to do that by taking off the base. Mm -hmm. Just turn it around, and so you're and saying add you carry a yours. Add the, add the wider clip, which is always yep. provided. And then you could go horizontal. Yep. And then you can carry like that. Yep. And that's how I carry every day. Um, you know, because of my shape, it lets me sit down, stand up, and I can draw with no issue. I can draw my my magazine with no issue, with my my not strong hand. Yeah. This wow. way, it doesn't stick up into you, right? Yep. Nice. Yep. Okay. So there, are, there's one more choice of inside the waistband holster that we so and that is our appendix carry appendix carry yeah. so uh what do you think about the appendix holster you're going to be wearing it right about here i'm not going to be wearing it right about anywhere really tim i'll be honest with you uh appendix carry is not really a great choice for me um, most folks i hear fit or not they think they want an appendix carry they've seen it on a show or whatever the case might be. It's a really accessible area, it makes sense, but when you go to sit down with that holster, it, for some people, it just tends to dig into your area. For a guy my size, that's an extrapolated issue. I really have no real estate on the front of my body to carry a, a, a holster and, and have it, you know, it, it's, it can be uncomfortable. Yeah, and you also have to consider you're gonna have a gun in there. Yep. This is all gonna be sticking into your gut if mm -hmm. you have one. Yep. And you're sitting down with it, right? You know, yeah, if I'm going to be out doing something all day, every day, um, and, and I'm a bigger guy, it might be an option. I hear of people, I, I, I know there's a guy out there that does a video who's a bigger guy, and he has it figured out and does a great job. So it's not impossible by any means, but it certainly, for me, is not my holster, to go, my go-to holster. Mm. Okay, so if you're not ready to carry inside the waistband as a bigger guy or you're too concerned with it there are other choices there are lots of other choices the first is to carry outside the waistband mm -hmm. what is your favorite outside the waistband choice as a bigger person from our selection here 
So hands down, you take that appendix carry holster with shape shift and it morphs right into our belt carry outside the waistband. And that sits really close to my body, very similar to how my 4.0 sits, just on the other side of, of the pant. And uh, it works phenomenally. I, I love it. Uh, it's my favorite outside the waistband carry, hands down. It still sits closer to me. Me being a, a broader person, when I'm out doing things, if I'm going to wear a paddle holster or something that sticks out too far, it, I catch that on more stuff because I'm a wider guy. This one sticks real close to the body, still has a great draw, still has great retention, stays where I need it, and uh, it, it just does a great job being where I need it to be and, and not be and being comfortable while still being functional. Nice, and this one works by taking your belt and looping it through these side uh, arms right here. Behind the base. Behind the base. Yep. And then this would sit right up against you. Yep. So this would allow you to actually carry outside the waistband mm -hmm. and also conceal it if you just throw your shirt right over it. Yep. Yeah, a lot of, you know, I'm wearing a, a button down today. I'm here at work and I like to look, you know, business professional sometimes, but, you know, business casual most of the time. And uh, so I wear a button down. A lot of the times I'll even still wear a sweater vest over this and either I'm wearing outside or inside the waistband, I can just cover that right up. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we there are all sorts of choices for uh, outside the waistband. Another really popular one is our paddle holster. Mm -hmm. This is part of our core carry pack in the Shapeshift modular holster system. It's all of, almost all everything that you're gonna be looking at today is part of the Shapeshift and all of these holsters essentially detach from the type of holster and you've got the shell you can actually switch it to any of these other holsters. Mm -hmm. So it's a great system to get into if you want to try a bunch of different types of carry. Mm -hmm. If you're concerned about your weight or how it's going to feel, great modular system to test. And this paddle holster here attaches to the base like that. As long then, as it's in full shell position. Yeah, yeah, as long as you have it with the, the, the back and the front of this shell. And then you can even turn it sideways so if, if that gun is going to be poking into you. You can carry a lot more horizontally. Mm -hmm. Do you ever carry like that? Um, you know, I, I, I rarely use the uh, paddle holster outside of the range just because it's it does stick out a little further and I have great availability. I can just holster that gun, do something else, load magazines, do what I need to do, uh, and then draw and fire very, very readily. Often at the range, I'll wear the paddle holster because I, I carry my SIG 238. I carry a uh, XD Mod 2 40, and I carry a Glock 23. I also have a Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Um, and so I, I have lots nice, of pistols, nice. so I tend to carry, I mean, I have access to holsters I work here, uh, so I tend to carry a few different holsters so I can holster those firearms while I'm loading magazines and stuff like that. Nice, so you'll see on this holster here that there's this gap that he's talking about. So if you wanna <laughs> carry a little bit further off your body, this is a good choice. It's also made for quicker, easier access. This one's got a thumb release on it, so it's extra safe. It won't release until you push down on this button right here, mm -hmm. and that comes right out. Yep. All right, let's talk about another very uh, great choice, which is a backpack holster. Have you ever worn one of these before? You know, I tested it out when we first had it. I, I wore it with a few different backpacks at a uh, I don't know what o'clock position that would be, but a, a draw about right here for me, and mm -hmm. it works fantastic. That thumb release really keeps it where you want it. I mean, I, I hiked up to uh, a lake, a two-mile hike, and uh, you know it's a pretty rough trail. Never had an issue at all. Drew it a couple times just to make sure it was a, a good, smooth draw. It worked fantastic. This is my personal favorite when I go hunting, so that I've got all of my gear on my belt and I don't have much space, mm -hmm. and it comes right off uh, of my body, just goes right onto the the backpack. I really enjoy this one. And then I like to carry it at about this angle right here. Mm -hmm. It's a fun one to, to try out if you want to get some, anything off of your waist and you have, happen to have a backpack on. I also hike a lot with my kids and I like the fact when I'm out uh, hiking with the uh, backpack holster that I'm not flagging them when they're down mm, yeah. here at all. Um, that can tend to happen if I'm you know a little bit more of a possibility if I'm carrying around my waist. Here, if it were to go off for any reason, it's going to really hurt my ears, but it's going to be away from everyone. What do you think about the drop leg holster? I, that's my favorite hunting carry that we have. Uh, I've used it quite a bit. I've taken it out to the golf course just to put it through its paces. 
Um, it's great I'm, where we have the different settings on the back of this. So for, I actually take care of a couple different demographics. I'm a bigger guy, but I'm also a shorter guy. My hand falls just right on it, right where it needs to be. I have magazines there if I need them. And uh, it, it works really great for me. And I mean, I'm, I have pretty big thighs and uh, it, it takes care of what I need when I'm looking for a hunting situation. If I needed to put my hand on my pistol and draw, it's right there when I need it. I don't have to mess with any clothes or anything like that. And this easily fits around your leg? Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, once I get it set up the way I want it set up, it, it, yeah, it, does, it does what I need it to do. Now, now we're talking about down on your legs. Mm -hmm. You ever carry with an ankle holster? Yes, sir. And yeah. what do you think about the ankle holster? Uh, I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, I, it's a great backup option when you're when you're shooting or when you, uh, you know, when you want to go out and train and you want to be you want to put yourself into a situation where you've lost your first firearm or it's out of ammunition, whatever the case might be. You drop down to a knee, and you have it right there. For me, I'm right-handed, so it goes on my left ankle, and drawn, ready to go. And uh, yeah, it. it Fits great, stays there. I wear it with uh, my Keen hiking boots. I wear it with uh, most any shoes I wear. Anything How I'm... flexible are you? Um, you know, for a bigger guy, I've been told I'm actually a lot more flexible than people expect. But um, as I'm aging, not as flexible as I used to be. So is this going to be a problem for some people possibly to be able to get down there and grab if they're really big? The real, the real truth is. Um, Getting down there with both my hands to Re put it release on. Release your pants too. You got to get your pants up above it. Yeah, that's not so much the issue as just putting it on. I've had mm -hmm. my wife kind of help me get things strapped up the way I want them to where it's good and secure. A um, little bit of a uh, little bit of training, you know, as far as uh, doing some stretching exercises, get myself a little more limber would fix that right up. But <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, one of our, our my personal favorites, shoulder holster. Yeah. How, how well does this fit you as a larger person? In that setting, it wouldn't fit me at all. However, my mine at home fit me great. I actually, uh, just because I, I live here in Idaho and we're a constitutional carry state and uh, I'm really proud of our brand and I'm proud of our products. I went out uh, on a Pokemon co uh, community day the other day and I wore my shoulder holster and I wore it all day. And, you know, hiked around downtown Coeur d'Alene with my kids and had a lot of people, you know, say, hey, wow, that's nice. Where'd you get that? And, you know, it's just, it fits great. It works real good. I have access to my firearm. I have access to my magazines. Um, it, it works And how well. did you make it fit well? Oh, you just, you mean, you know, you use the straps and you set them up. Uh, you know, I have kind of, this I have my straps, uh, these Chicago screws set up at a little bit of the larger settings. Um, you know, for me, for some people with a smaller, more narrow torso, they like to draw this way. Mm -hmm. I tend to carry more horizontally because of my size. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how I carry. And this holster will fit up to a size 4XL. So if you want to carry a shoulder holster, if you want to try something like this, mm -hmm. and you are 4XL or smaller. I am actually 4XL, and that fits me. And yep. this should work for you really nicely. Yep. All right, we've got a couple more. Uh, Another choice for uh, for you to carry, mm -hmm. if you don't want to carry on their on your body at all, yeah. One thing you could do is you can have holsters in a variety of places where you're going to be throughout the day. Yeah, and you could have an off the body holster, such as one that's on your car, on your bed, at your desk, in your so pocket. In your pocket. Let's, you got a pocket holster on you right now? I do have a pocket holster on me. It's not, it's not employed, <laughs> uh, but it is. I, this is one of my favorite carries. Um, say I'm in a pair of pants or I found today my pants aren't fitting as uh, loose as I'd like to wear inside the waistband. This is my go-to holster. And how does this one work? So this, uh, you just, it, the firearms, I don't have That's the gun. shield. Yeah, I, and I don't want to draw right. my firearm, but... Uh, it just slides right in, and uh, this hook kind of keeps things from having a, a, a exact pistol profile. Anybody that knows what they're looking at may go, hmm, I wonder what that guy has there. But uh, it really does a good job at just kind of having a, a pretty obscure shape, and I can reach right in, draw. 
If I needed to draw with one hand, it's no problem. Usually it'll come right out because of my size. The pressure against my pocket keeps it where it needs to be, but if I've had a couple times where it does just hook on the pant and pull and, and draws from the holster that way. I do have to re set my retention a little lighter on the pocket holster than I do, say, on my IWB, just, just so that it falls away easier. You also can place your thumb right here to push it away from the holster. That's right. So you grab your gun, put your thumb right here, and you pull your gun while you push down your thumb. Yep, and it pops right out. Pops right out. Yep. So this is a pretty fun holster to, as long as you have, you know, big enough pocket where you Pockets can, to you, take it. Yeah, yep. you got to be able to have a big enough pocket to put your hand in there. But that works with dress slacks. That works with uh, my, my normal everyday pants. I, I, I wear a, a variety of different types of pants, as people around here know, and uh, uh, they work with all of them. So. And so the next choice is to not have it on you at all. You could carry your gun and then take it from one position to the next off your body, say on your desk or your bed or in your car. This is our driver's defense holster. Yeah. And the way that this one works is that it actually attaches to your driver's seat between your legs so that you can take your gun and move it from one holster to the next. Mm -hmm. And this is a choice. Another choice would be to carry with the our hook and loop holster. You the can have as many of these uh, hook and loop bases as you want, and then we have a version of our shapeshift that has the uh, the opposite side on it, so that you can take as many of these as you want. You can place them around to where you want to carry or have your gun, and you can just take this out if you want to keep your gun entirely safe in the holster and move it to the next spot, or you could take your gun and move it to the next holster. That's one of my favorites for moving it from spot to spot. I have one of these. Well, I have my safe full of them. I have one of these by my bed by my bed for my uh, XD Mod 2, and then I have one of these under my dash in both of my car and my wife's car. Um, so if I just want to pull the whole holster off and pop it under there, it's, it's real quick, it's real easy. You never even have to unholster the pistol. Another choice is a Molly holster. If you happen to have, that's the, the, the webbing or the PALS webbing that's on backpacks Not a lot and then also on some police belts. PALS webbing is different from Molly webbing. Tell me the difference. So PALS has the little metal uh, eyelets, and there's a, a hook that hooks through them. Molly is just a essentially a, a fibrous strap that is that these teeth feed right through. Once you have it how you like it, uh, to do it the way it's meant to be done, you're supposed to weave it through for a nice strong attachment, and then you put this uh, lock on it, and it it's there till you make it come off. And that works like that. It's nice and tight, so it's secure. Mm -hmm. Just slide this over the molly, and then you can carry on any molly that you might have. Molly replaced PALS uh, for the preferred mode of carry some time back in the military. I, I don't know everything about it, but... Yeah. Nice. Good intel. Okay, the last choice that we have is this little piece right here. What do you call that guy? Uh, Oh, the uh, holster this, mount? Yes, this is our holster mount right here. So it's attached to these to this uh, this Molly holster piece, but we actually can include this with your holster order as many as you want. Core then, carry pack comes with a free one. Core carry pack comes with a free one if you get the core carry pack, which is uh, a variety of our holsters, including the IWB, the paddle, the belt slide, and the appendix, and IWB. the appendix IWB. And if you want. You can have all, all sorts of these uh, platforms right here, and you can attach them just like you would the Velcro holster to different spots that you would go through between your day, and you could take your shell and your gun and just pop them right into this little slot right here by pushing this button. Yeah, this guy here is a little more intrusive than our hook and loop holster. You do have to install it with hardware. Uh, some people prefer not to do that with their vehicle. Um, and that's why the hook and loop holster is a, a little better uh, option for that if you don't want to use uh, screws. But this one's tough as nails. You can rotate it however you want it. And uh, like I said, it, it does come, like Tim said too, it does come with uh, our core carry pack and you can buy them by themselves and put them everywhere in the house. I actually have one of these above my bed for my wife to get to if she needs to. So Nice. <clears throat> All right, so if you have a gun that's not compatible with the Shapeshift Modular Holster System, we also have several of these holsters available in alternate versions, and we have over 500 models of 
guns that carry with our other holsters like our Cloak Tuck 3.5 and also our uh, Cloak Mod OWB paddle holster. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are curious about if your firearm fits or you'd like to look at any of these holsters, check us out at aliengearholsters.com. And if you're curious about more questions for uh, how to carry for heavier people, leave them in the comments and we'd love to answer them. Yeah. Or reach out to us in customer service. We love answering questions. We take great pride in putting a lot of training into our CSRs, and, and they know uh, lots of stuff about fitment for your pistol as well as fitment for the holster on your body. That's right. These guys put a ton of effort, everything they have, into making sure that all of our customers are completely satisfied. So if you have any questions, give them a call. And uh, you know, if you got any questions that we can answer for you on this video, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.